Hi, I'm Mike Thomas, fisheries research biologist with the Michigan DNR at the Lake St. Clair Research Station. Recently, we asked Hook and Look to accompany us on Lake St. Clair to capture underwater footage of lake sturgeon. I haven't seen anything on the bottom, you know, like a fish stirred up and swam away. We're looking up in the water column as well to see if they're suspended. Yeah, it's straight in front of me. Look up, look up. Look up! There it is. Follow me, I'm following him, I'm right He's following me. one. He's on one. I'm with you. He's swimming away, <laughs> but he's not darting away. He has no idea that I'm right next to him. He's just sitting here moving along. This is the first I've ever seen one live. He's turning back your way, Dad. He's just cruising on top of the uh, balance area. This is so cool. <laughs> Oh, one just jumped 30 feet, 40 feet from you guys. There's another one straight in front of us, straight in front He's of us. He's on another one. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's a good one. That's pretty hard on a little man following these things. Again, they're just, just cruising on top of this mountain area. Got another one to the left hand side, Dad. Another one to the left. We got two of them on my screen now. He's got two in the screen at one time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. They're cool. I was chasing one, and then all of a sudden, another one crossed paths right in front of me. I had two. Mike, does it sound like we're having fun? Yeah, it sounds like you guys are having a ball. We're, we're having fun just listening to you. I knew it would be like this. But again, I'm not seeing anything that could tell me why they're here. I'm not seeing any forage. I see these open pockets in the grass, and I'm looking to see if I see gobies. I'm uh, really interested if you're able to see any that are down feeding on the bottom. Normally they don't do that among weedy areas like that, but they would probably be feeding on really small stuff that you wouldn't notice, like uh, small snails and mayfly nymphs, uh, other in benthic invertebrates. We haven't seen any strata on the bottom. That looks like so that was happening. Yeah, it's possible that they're feeding on something else up in the water column, just above the weeds where you're seeing them cruising. Uh, that's really interesting. Just swimming by. This is great. They just kind of just steadily swim ahead of you, don't let you get quite as close as I'd like to get. But I tell you, when they dart, you feel you feel the movement when they dart their tail. It would hurt if they hit you, I think. There's a big one. There's a big one. There's a big one, he said. There's a big one. A big one that's got a lamp right here and on the back of its tail. There comes another one right alongside of it. You just saw two. There's a huge school of sturgeon here. If I would have had blocks on my bike, you would have heard me screaming. <laughs> We're following that one with the lamprey, and I almost got kicked by another one right above my head. Lake sturgeon are heavily parasitized by silver lamprey in Lake St. Clair. Silver lamprey are one of the native species of lamprey we have in the Great Lakes and in Michigan. They have co-evolved with lake sturgeon so that they are not a mortality problem for lake sturgeon. Silver lamprey have a suction cup mouth full of teeth and those teeth are used to irritate the skin causing it to bleed and they feed on the blood from those wounds on lake sturgeon. We're getting our exercise today. I just saw one jump about halfway between you and where we have the other boat anchored. I just saw a small mouth along with a big old sturgeon. His big old sturgeon, he said. <laughs> I'm getting a beautiful shot of a lamprey on an unconscious block. Oh, you're right there, you're trying to get a shot. They're yelling at each other. <laughs> this is awesome. I had two come up. The one Like you're having fun. 
Without question, that was truly an unprecedented encounter for both Danny and I. I want to thank Mike Thomas and James Zellinger for their assistance in helping make this rare and exhilarating experience possible. Lake sturgeon are descendants of prehistoric fish, and when comparing these giants to dinosaurs, I would have to say they're more like a brontosaurus. Although shark-like in presence and power, they have the demeanor of a dairy cow. <laughs>